Welcome to our video series on WData. These videos are a collaboration between Volani Analytics and Udatech. And the purpose of these videos is to show you how the different components of Workiva work in a very simple way. Many of you may have seen demos, whether they're you know from Workiva, from other partners. You may look at it and say, this looks very complicated. Today we're going to break it down and show you each of the pieces. A little bit about myself. My name is Daniel Villani. I'm the founder and CEO of Villani Analytics. I've worked in technology for over 15 years. I have two U.S. patents issued uh, to me. I have one pending. Uh, some of my recent accomplishments, uh, my firm is being uh, honored as one of the top 10 EPM providers by CIO Review. For this year, uh, I was also awarded with uh, the Internet 2.0 Conference uh, Award for my contributions in technology. I have a book that will be coming uh, out shortly, and I've presented at you know over 15 different conferences. I do accept any and all uh, connections on LinkedIn, so be sure to reach out if you'd uh, like to uh, see where we could collaborate and, and partner for projects. Essentially, the, you know, the work that I do in um, partnership with Eudatech, we implement WData in two weeks or less. We fit any client budget. We start under $10,000. So we can, you know, meet any timeline and meet any budget. So WData, what we have up on the screen here is just an overall end-to-end -end picture of a WData and WDesk uh, implementation. Over here on the left, uh, two-thirds of the screen, these are the WData components. We'll talk a little bit about each uh, component type in more detail shortly. Um, on the right hand side, these are the WDesk uh, components. We're not going to focus uh, today's conversation on these pieces, but we'll have future videos uh, to, to go through the, the WDesk side. So very simply, we have a bunch of application adapters. You know, it could be one adapter, it could be multiple. The WData term for them are connectors. We pull in using these connectors the data into WData's repository. Uh, using components called chains. This data gets stored within you know one or more tables over here and that um, data can be queried with you know one or more queries that push the data to connected spreadsheets on the WDesk side. From there the data can get pushed to any different uh, report that the where it needs to go. As I said, you know, we'll kind of do a little bit of a deeper dive into each of these components uh, in a second here. But important takeaway here is WData enables uh, your full end-to-end -end automated reporting because we're automating the ingestion of data, pulling that data from our source systems. We're storing it within, uh, within WData's repository and we're preparing that data for consumption to our end reports. So the first component we'll talk about are the chains. Uh, as I mentioned, chains automate the data ingestion into Workiva tables. They don't only do that. They can you know, do much more than that. You know, they can export data from Workiva to downstream systems. They can automate some of your WDesk operations. And they connect to uh, source systems and target systems using application adapters, which are uh, referred to as connectors within the WData environment. There are a bunch of connectors that are available where Kiva is, you know, constantly adding new additional ones. We'll have some training series on each of the connectors, you know, doing more of a deep dive into, you know, how they work and what uh, objects are, you know, and commands are available for each one of them. But, you know, from a high level, the chains are, you know, what makes data ingestion possible within the Workiva environment. Next, we'll talk through tables. Tables uh, are just stores of data. They, they can store your numerical data, also known as fact data. They can also store your dimensional data. So if you have your chart of accounts that, 
you want to bring into Workiva to match up against the data and enable reporting that way, you can absolutely do that. Um, as I said, it stores that snapshot of the data from the chains, and because the data is in Workiva's environment, every time you're accessing it, you don't have to um, go back against your source system. So from a performance standpoint, it's going to offer you much better performance to store data in Workiva instead of having to go to your source system you know, every single time that, that you're looking for your data. You can also import and export your data from your tables. So that way, if you want to see at any time, you know, what data exists in the table, I need to pull this out to push it to another system or provide for any other reporting purposes, you can absolutely do that as well. Queries will prepare your data for consumption in WDesk. So this is going to um, do your sorting, filtering, uh, you could combine data from multiple tables and, and even other queries in there. The important thing to know here is that you do not have to know how to write SQL in, in order to build a query. There's a graphical interface uh, directly inside of Workiva. You can use that, you know, or if you're super technical and you want to write SQL, you can absolutely do that as well. A uh, key takeaway here is that you can build parameter-driven and flexible queries so that your future reports can be built without creating or modifying any existing components. You can just key in a month and a year, for example, pull all the data back for that month and year, and then you could always just flip that parameter to the next month or you know the next year or whatever the next time period is, and all of your reports will automatically update so that way you don't have to go back and write new queries every single time uh, you know, your, your period changes. Lastly, the connected sheets. So this is what brings the query data into your spreadsheets. You can set your parameter values here and just click a refresh button. So that way, you know, when you move from, you know, January to February, all you have to do is flip that parameter. You don't need to go and rebuild any other components and all of your data is automatically going to push through everywhere where it's referenced. And then you can pull the data from your connected sheets into your you know, actual reports and, and spreadsheets using either you know, some if commands, you can use uh, index match formulas, uh, things like that. So it's very easy once you have the data in that connected sheet to go and send it everywhere uh, that's, that's needed. So hope you enjoyed this, uh, this short video over here. If you have any uh, projects that you're working on and you need any help, with WData, WDesk. Uh, we offer a free consultation. Uh, click the link that's in the video description and you can book the, the session for whenever. Uh, as I said earlier, we do WData implementations in two weeks or less and we fit every, develop, uh, every uh, project budget with our development starting under $10,000. Thank you.